In the past, there was the Douglas DC-3, an aircraft that ushered in the era of civil aviation. Then came the Boeing 747, the Queen of the Skies, the first wide-body commercial aircraft. Now, it seems we are in the era of the A350, an aircraft that is loved by widespread admiration from both airlines and passengers. But how good is the Airbus A350? Does it truly deserve to be hailed as a legend, just like the Douglas DC-3 and Boeing 747 once were? Let's take a closer look. The aviation industry is witnessing a remarkable turning point as the Airbus A350 takes center stage on a global scale. Nearly every major airline you can think of has rushed to secure this groundbreaking aircraft. Qantas, a longtime symbol of loyalty to Boeing, stunned the world by selecting the A350-1000 for Project Sunrise, its bold initiative to conquer the world's longest commercial flight. Delta Airlines, North America's leading A350 operator, continues to expand its fleet with additional orders. Even Emirates, operating icons like the A380 and Boeing 777, couldn't resist the allure of this aircraft, signing a deal for 50. A350-900, a transformative shift is redefining the future of aviation. Additionally, numerous major airlines worldwide have chosen the Airbus XWB aircraft to modernize their fleets and enhance operational efficiency. Singapore Airlines stands out by utilizing the 900 ULR variant for ultra-long haul routes like Singapore, New York. Qatar Airways, this aircraft's launch customer, boasts a substantial fleet comprising both A350-900 and 1000 variants. Lufthansa and British Airways have invested in the aircraft to elevate customer experience and reduce operational costs. Cathay Pacific employs this aircraft for both regional and long haul routes, while Japan Airlines and all Nippon Airways use the aircraft to replace older models serving both domestic and international destinations. To date, it has garnered an impressive 1,340 orders. It's not just airlines who see the allure of the A350. Pilots, too, have praised its advanced cockpit and smooth handling. Many pilots express a particular fondness for the Airbus aircraft over Boeing aircraft thanks to its cutting-edge features and exceptional performance. First and foremost, its cockpit is designed with state-of-the-art technology, including an intuitive fly-by-wire control system, large LCD displays, and advanced automation, which reduce workload and enhance situational awareness. The aircraft's handling is especially lauded for its smoothness and precision, proving invaluable in challenging weather conditions or during landings. Additionally, tools like the Advanced Flight Management System and Predictive Maintenance Technology further optimize operations, providing real-time data to pilots and streamlining efficiency. Another major advantage of the XWB is its quieter cabin and significantly reduced vibrations, providing a more comfortable working environment for pilots on long-haul flights. It is also designed with a high degree of commonality across Airbus products, enabling A330 pilots to transition to the A350 with just about eight days of training. This saves time and enhances fleet flexibility. While Boeing models like the 777 and 787 are also highly regarded, many pilots still favor the A350 for its blend of advanced technology, comfort, and superior efficiency, especially on extended journeys. Moreover, passengers frequently share glowing experiences on social media, while aviation enthusiasts rave about its unique curved wingtips and sleek design. This aircraft has become a sensation in the aviation industry, with experts hailing it as a true game changer. But is the A350 really as good as everyone praises it, or is it just a marketing gimmick from Airbus? Let's dive right in. But first, it would be amazing if you could give us a boost of energy to keep creating awesome content by hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and sharing this with other aviation enthusiasts. Thank you so much. To answer this question, we need to look back at the journey of the aircraft. When Airbus first unveiled the A350 in 2004, the reaction was not as expected. Instead of excitement, they received criticism. Instead of praise, they got skepticism. Initially, it was designed as a slight upgrade of the A330, but when Boeing launched the revolutionary 787 Dreamliner, the A350 seemed like bringing a knife to a gunfight. Airlines were quick to express their dissatisfaction. The CEO of Qatar Airways, the eventual launch customer for the A350, openly criticized Airbus, demanding that they do much better. 
Other potential customers were equally unimpressed, sending a clear message that an upgraded version of the A330 would not be enough to compete in the long-haul market. However, Airbus surprised everyone by doing something unexpected. They listened. Instead of sticking stubbornly to their original plan, they returned to the drawing board and essentially redesigned the aircraft from scratch. The new design was so distinct that the manufacturer even added the XWB, extra wide body, label to the name. Yet, this fresh start came with its own set of challenges. The 800 variant, the smallest variant, garnered 182 orders but was never produced. Airlines shifted to larger models or canceled their orders. The program faced significant financial losses, development costs spiraled, and continuous technical challenges emerged. While Boeing was already conducting test flights with the 787, Airbus was still struggling with new composite materials. In your opinion, does the 787 Dreamliner give you a better experience than the A350? Comment 1 if your answer is Dreamliner, 2 if it is the A350. As a result, these challenges pushed Airbus to innovate in ways never seen before and a product that redefined the standards for modern aircraft. Over 70% of the a 350 structure is made from advanced materials like composites, titanium, and modern aluminum alloys. These materials allowed Airbus to achieve something remarkable. Maintaining cabin pressure equivalent to an altitude of 6,000 feet compared to the typical 8,000 feet in most other aircraft. Though this might seem like a small difference, it significantly enhances passenger comfort, especially on long-haul flights. But that wasn't all. The A350 is equipped with a maximum speed of 591 miles per hour, on par with the legendary Queen Boeing 747, while the Dreamliner reaches a maximum speed of nearly 587 miles per hour, which is approximately 945 kilometers, indicating minimal differences in operational performance. In addition, it consumes 25% less fuel than previous generation aircraft. This is a major leap forward. The massive Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engines not only deliver immense power, but also run so quietly that pilots can converse normally during landing, even in adverse weather conditions. For passengers, this translates to a much quieter cabin, a crucial factor on ultra-long flights. A standout example of the A350's remarkable capabilities is its role with Singapore Airlines, operating one of the longest commercial flights in the world. The nine 500 mile journey from Singapore to New York lasting nearly 19 hours. The fact that this ultra long haul route can be completed with exceptional fuel efficiency is nothing short of extraordinary. However, no aircraft is perfect. The paint issue on the Airbus A350 raised by Qatar Airways in 2021 involved the peeling and premature degradation of the paint on the aircraft's fuselage, raising concerns about the surface quality and the protection of the underlying composite materials. This was not just an aesthetic issue, but also had the potential to affect the long-term performance of the aircraft, especially when damaged areas are exposed to the harsh conditions of flight. The dispute between Qatar Airways and Airbus became public and tense. Qatar Airways accused Airbus of not adequately addressing the issue and temporarily halted the acceptance of additional XWB aircraft while filing a lawsuit for compensation. The manufacturer denied the safety-related allegations, pointing out that the issue was purely cosmetic and did not affect the operational capability of the aircraft. In response to this situation, Airbus implemented solutions to improve the product. The company announced a new production standard for the A350 which included redesigning the cabin partitions to add an extra four inches of width. This not only enhanced the cabin space, providing a better experience for passengers, but also demonstrated the manufacturer's commitment to continuously improving its products to meet the stringent demands of customers. However, the dispute between Qatar Airways and Airbus remains a significant point in the development of the XWB, highlighting that even the most groundbreaking products are not immune to challenges. Additionally, Airbus lost a major customer in Emirates with the A350-1000 when Chairman Tim Clark publicly expressed his concerns about the engine issues of the Variant 1000. It seems that, at this point, Emirates has no intention of ordering this variant. The airline's chairman also declared that they did not want to deal with continuously faulty aircraft, stating, We don't buy planes that are flawed. However, Clark acknowledged that it is a good aircraft, adding, that if Emirates were to order the largest variant of the A350, they would purchase between 35 and 50 units. 
Despite this, the airline would not place an order at this time because the aircraft's engine can only perform about a quarter of the flight cycles that Emirates requires, roughly 2,000 to 2,500 flight hours. This indicates that even without engine issues, the A350-1000 still does not meet the airline's needs. Is the Airbus A350 truly worth the hype? After examining all aspects, it's clear that it is not just good, it's revolutionary. This aircraft has redefined the expectations of airlines and passengers alike for what a modern airplane should be. While it is not without flaws, the A350 represents one of the most significant advancements in commercial aviation in decades. Its combination of cutting-edge technology, enhanced passenger comfort, and operational efficiency has set a new benchmark for long-haul travel. The A350's innovation extends beyond engineering. It has shifted the competitive situation of aviation. Airlines now demand more than just functionality. They seek aircraft that balance environmental responsibility with superior performance. Its use of advanced materials, state-of-the-art aerodynamics, and highly efficient engines highlights Airbus's commitment to meeting these demands. These features not only reduce fuel consumption and emissions, but also create a quieter, more comfortable cabin environment, cementing the A350's status as a game changer. Meanwhile, Boeing has responded with the ambitious 777X program aiming to reclaim its position as a leader in the wide body market. However, this project has faced numerous setbacks, including delays, certification challenges, and development costs spiraling out of control. These issues have placed the 777X in a precarious position, with some questioning whether Boeing might eventually abandon the program altogether. In a rapidly evolving industry, the A350 stands as a testament to Airbus's ability to innovate and adapt. While it may not be flawless, its impact on the aviation world is undeniable, and it continues to shape the future of commercial air travel. Have you flown the A350? What was your experience like? Does it live up to the hype? Leave us a comment below and let us know. Thanks and safe flights every time.